and ever December 4th, an everlasting covenant with Abraham. God said, I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for generations to come. To be to be your God and the God of your descendants after you, Genesis 17, 7. In this world of ours, time is a commodity, precious and valuable, because there is only so much of it. The time of our childhood, carefree and simple, comes to an end all too soon. The intimate togetherness of married life may be our bedrock for many years, but eventually that too comes to an end. Our healthy time, our strong and vigorous time, our physically active and mentally involved time. In some cases, it burns out quickly, and in other cases, it simply fades away. But in every case, it comes to an end. Abraham was thinking about time. God had called him to move to the land of Canaan when he was 75 years old. But now he was 99 years old, and time was passing by. The promises of God God had made of a great land and a great nation and a great Savior were 25 years old. Perhaps time was running out for Abraham. Perhaps time was running out for God's promises. But God was going to lift the limits of time. God came to the musing Abraham and declaring, declared that his covenant, his binding promises, were everlasting. The land that God would give Abraham would be his forever. The nation God would make of Abraham would last forever. The king would come from Abraham would rule forever. A beautiful and perfect life relying on God's deep love would be lived forever. God reminded Abraham, Christ is coming. And through the saving work of Christ, God's ancient covenant is established as everlasting. As an as everlasting nation from God's from Abraham's line, Paul explains in Galatians that those who have faith are children of Abraham. Moreover, in his book of Revelation, John describes those believers in the everlasting heaven as a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. An everlasting king descendant from Abraham, again, in Revelation, John hears the angels shout about Christ. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. An everlasting homeland for Abraham's children? In Revelation, John describes this vision of Christ our King. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, and the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making everything new. Time without limit, limits, time without chains, time unbounded, unbound. In Christ who died for your sins and rose again, God guarantees that his promises to care for you and love you and keep you close to him in faith and fill your life with joy and purpose and significance. This is the everlasting reality. And we pray. Come quickly, Lord Jesus, and make time new for us, so that with you we enjoy the glorious freedom of, everlast, of everlasting. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight, and um, if you would like to share this with anybody, remind them that it is on the East Fork YouTube page um, in both the kindergarten and first grade folders. Have a good evening.